comment, do you believe there is a, there's this tendency to uh, uh, kind of put this war under the rug and sort of not talk about it? Uh, this, this is very interesting comment that I was privileged to be part of. It's called a social philosophy identity, as you said, and it was put together by uh, a production company in Sarajevo called Prova. And it was made of, I believe, 10 or 12 movies with kind of very diverse uh, aesthetic choices, but with a similar connecting line of, you know, personal or, you know, collective identity. And uh, I think it's interesting because uh, identity uh, becomes such a question. The last century already, and now it's kind of coming back. So, uh, especially in Bosnia, where you have a uh, struggle to define what that identity is. So, you cannot still be proud of it. You can't probably, of course, individually, but you know, it's a kind of national feeling, it doesn't exist. Uh, it's, you know, it's possible to kind of uh, create things out of it because it feels like a all in your life. But still, kind of makes it a bit difficult. We will have to live on a daily basis. Um, and I'll just kind of continue. Uh, yeah, but, uh, my my question is: uh, the the commander the character in the film, Spetsiavits. Uh, I I felt he was sort of dis disrupting this uh, reality or the or the life of the, of the other characters in the film. And could you just tell us briefly uh, what uh, was this character based on? Someone um, you act in, it, you act, uh, you were you were the commander, and if you can tell us a little bit more about that character. Uh, the idea for me to act in the movie came from the producer. So I'm sorry. Can you hear me now? Thank you. Uh, the idea to act in the movie came from the producer. Uh, we, I was writing, I think, a, a, a third draft when she said, I really think you should, you know, be this guy and act with this role. The fact that I didn't really uh, argue with her, that I accepted that right away, to me, kind of came across as a sign that I probably unconsciously thought about it without, you know, being aware of it fully. So I really wanted to do that, but I wasn't aware. She opened my eyes, and I accepted, and I was prepared. It was kind of a crazy situation when you act. You mean, as you know, as a filmmaker, you don't let actors watch your dailies because you don't want them to judge themselves. And then you watch yourself, pretending it's not yourself, and you're directing it. It's kind of crazy. But it worked out, I mean, OK. We were happy with the result. I'm not sure you know, everybody likes it, but I'm saying it's kind of interesting situation. Commando is a, is a metaphor for the for the war. If you follow the movie precisely, it's never clear if he really was in the war. There is no single proof that this guy was in the war. Maybe he uh, is kind of uh, uh, guilt driven. Maybe he's. Uh, that crazy, I freaked out. For me, uh, precisely, it was an absurd situation that only uh, if you say things that are kind of dilemmas of the life that these people are living, uh, if you say these things, if you spell them in a society which has such absurd uh, uh, kind of structure, in, in many ways, uh, you really break down because it's, you cannot co connect things that are not you know uh, connected uh, 